Welcome everyone, King Clarity Gaming here, and in today's video we're going to be going over all of the remaining unreleased cars from the Criminal Enterprises DLC, starting with the Benny cars. Let's go in first person, and we will start with the Grotti Brioso 300 Widebody. I may not need to say this, but I will anyway, that this one comes from the Grotti Brioso 300, and basically it's just... The Benny's version of this car. Uh, wide body, of course. So, this is basically a Fiat 500, a bar uh, model from like the 1960s with some modifications from the 1970s. Um, the Fiat Abarth TCR 1000. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, so, the price for this will be the actual cost for the vehicle is 610000 if you don't already own it. And then the cost to convert the vehicle is 585,000 at Benny's. So we'll move on to the next vehicle, and that's going to be the Ubermach Sentinel Classic Widebody. So again, this is basically just buy the Ubermach Sentinel Classic, and then, you know, for $650,000, then convert it to the Widebody for another 700,000, and this is basically the stock version of what that would look like. Um, you know, there's not really that much to say about it. I mean, essentially, it's just a BMW E30 M3. Anyway, moving on to the next one, and that will be the BF Weevil Custom. This one is a muscle car. Um, basically, it just comes from the BF Weevil, and uh, the cost itself for the Weevil is 870000 The conversion would be 980000 and, of course, I don't really need to say that this comes from a Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, now, of course, it's the Rat Rod version of it. Okay, Franklin, I don't know why you needed to do that. The next will be the Obey 10F Widebody. Which, again, this is an Audi R8 Gen 2 uh, Widebody variant of the vehicle. We'll talk more about that one once I get to the next car. But basically, the conversion for this one is 575000 and it obviously it converts from the Obey 10F standard version, which will be the next vehicle that we speak of, which is actually right here, the Obey 10F. Again, this is just an Audi R8 Gen 2. Uh, the cost of this vehicle is 1675000 And again, this one converts into that one at Benny's. And again, that will be $575,000 for that. The next vehicle on this list here... Oh, I forgot to say, this one is from Legendary, and also this is the only two vehicles from Legendary, are these two. And this one is the Benefactor SM722, uh, basically a Mercedes-Benz SLR Sterling Moss. And the cost for this vehicle will be $2,115,000 upon its release. And we will be right back with the vehicles from the um, Southern San Andreas Super Autos. Alright, so now the next vehicle we'll be going over is this one. And this vehicle is the Ponte Ruiner ZZ8. Obviously, it's a muscle car. It will be 1320000 This is a Pontiac Trans Am Generation 4. Uh, there's not much else to say about it. We'll, all of these vehicles I'll go over again with the in-depth review of them. The next vehicle on the list is a Declasse Vigoro ZX. I don't really think I need to say what this is, but it's a Chevy Camaro Gen 6. And the price for this vehicle will be $1,947,000 upon its release. Uh, next on the list here, this is the Dinka Kanjo SJ. Uh, and again, this is just a Honda Civic Coupe Gen 5. This one actually does have a trade price, so the actual cost straight up is $1,370,000, and if you have the trade price, it'll be $1,027,500, so you'll save a little bit with the trade price. Moving on to the next one, and that is going to be the Dinka Postlude. And the Dinka Postlude is based off of a Generation 1 Honda Prelude, and um, actually this one also has a trade price. The standard cost for this is $1,310,000. And with the trade price, it will be 982500 And then the next vehicle on the list will be the Ubermach Reinhardt. And this one is a BMW M5 Touring. You can see it is a wagon. Um, this one will be $1,598,000. Um, yeah, 
And then the uh, last one to release. And this is also the last one from, not necessarily the last one to release, but the last one that's going to release from Southern San Andreas Super Autos. And this one is the Class A Draugr. It's an off-road vehicle, obviously, you can tell by just looking at it. This one also has a trade price. It will be 1,870,000 standard. And with the trade price, it will be 1,402,500. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically all of the cars that have yet to release from the Criminal Enterprises DLC. I'm just trying to make this as a quick video here for you guys. But yeah, so these are all of them right there that are unreleased. Some of them are repeats, but turned into Benny cars. And, you know, so there's just a few new variants and a few new vehicles that haven't been released yet. Uh, but I will go over each and every one of those in depth in the following videos. So if you like this one, remember to uh, like it and subscribe if you're new. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about any of these. And I just want to say thank you for watching and have a great day.